You see that? Yeah, I'll break the nail. And foul. Nutley attack, one in shot. Or in uh, Winnipeg, uh, say. The uh, Siren uh, allows it, spies it, missile attack to the uh, community. Uh, uh, attack uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, United States. Oh my goodness. Oh, the, well, that's uh, maybe the uh, testing. Uh, if missile attack to Canada, United States. So that's. Uh, um, so that's our people, they are um, uh, testing now. Canada testing about missile attack to Canada United States. Oh, it's a good idea. It's a good idea for the people to repair for if something happens in. Ray on. Breaking new yeah, Ray on. And uh, Toronto, uh, 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 the van struck 10 people on a sidewalk. Very good. Right now, though, we are joined on the phone by Lori Stringer. She works in the area, and in fact, her office was locked down in the aftermath of this incident. Uh, Lori, uh, thank you for taking some time out for us today. We know this must be a, a tough time right now as you guys are under lockdown. What's the scene at the office? Yeah. Well, at the office, I mean, everybody is pretty calm and doing their work, but everyone's pretty anxious about how long the office is going to be locked down for. And, um, yeah, when we're going to be able to leave, because it's, it's indefinite right now. They haven't told us how long it's going to be locked down for. In terms of actually having a lockdown at the office, has this happened before? What is the process like? What was the first thing that you were told to do? Um, well, we, we have had, uh, we have had lockdowns, not very often, but we have had them before. And it's... Lockdown 